good morning all you lovely people out there in YouTube land and beyond. You got it, we're out for a bimble. So I'm out on the mighty Tiger 800, my, my wife's Tiger 800 to be fair. And uh, I forgot how much I actually love this bike. I tell ya, this particular model is a uh, 2015 XRX. Yes, XRX. So it has all the luxuries of heated grips and spotlights and comfy seat. And most of all, what it really has is uh, national power. Oh yes. That's what I love about this bike. It's made me realise, you know what? I really need to uh, get another one. Oh look, it's Scooter Mania. Oh, that smell! Oh, that's just absolutely lovely! Castrola! Come on! You beauties! So yeah, little man's got his hot water bottle and uh, we're actually heading to, um, to meet the mighty helmet head! Oh! So we've uh, come out to do a bit of a video with him today. Look out for his video with us in it. This is just a uh, Bit of a catch up really, while we're on the way there. Oh, I do love this bike. Just the response, frontal response was always beautiful. This was when uh, bike technology really started to take off and uh, fly-by-wire started to become the norm on everything really. I mean as you can see, uh, the switch cubes are quite big and chunky but that was because it was all new technology. It was new to try to pretty much uh, start putting fly-by-wire on everything from uh, 2013 onwards. Obviously uh, for us as test riders we were testing it in 2011, 2012. My wife absolutely loves this bike and you know what? I can tell why. So I was lucky enough to do quite a few development miles on uh, every single Tiger really from the very first one to the very last one the 900 Pro being my uh, my last project with Triumph and uh, it's definitely in my top five one of my firm favorites and uh, you know I'd own another one the fact that we've still got one in the family is always nice this is the wife's had to ask permission oh dear and uh, yeah she did quite a few uh, development miles on this and we took this particular model as a as a prototype or it was production ready but wasn't quite released and uh, we took it out to the Alps we was uh, going on holiday and my boss says well you might as well take that one with you so my wife uh, took uh, exactly the same as this bike exactly the same colour scheme spec the lot and at the time I had a Triumph Explorer and uh, I went on that so uh, she pretty much got a free holiday out of it, bless her. And uh, I think she pretty much fell in love. And it was only when a, a, a street triple was uh, starting to hurt the body, like they do, especially on a bit of mileage. And uh, she decided that street triple, it was time to go, which is another awesome bike. And she opted to get uh, a South Tiger 800. She found this one absolutely beautiful condition she's had it two years now and uh, it was six and a half thousand pound then and I was uh, I was looking last week just uh, looking at the prices of 800 targets because I'm actually in the market to get myself another adventure style bike and uh, yeah they're still six and a half grand there you go wide adventure bike you ask well i'm not a big off-roader it's not about off-roading for me for me i like the sitting position i like the height i like the comfort um i don't get any backache the ergonomics for me are absolutely spot on there obviously are a few bikes out there i'd love oh i'd love them but you know what my body would hate me my body would fall out with me so uh, yeah, the adventure bike market or bikes are actually a good fit for me, and, and not for the, like I say, not for the fact that 
I want to go off-roading because do you know what I'm really not fussed about getting muddy too much cleaning too much bloody cleaning that is for me uh, but they make a really good touring motorcycle and I think that's where you know they've come into their own in the last decade as adventure bikes because you know wherever it is you go whatever it is you do the time you chuck your leg over one of these it's an adventure I bought a new tent the other day because the wife had said to me she says oh after we did the four corners in our little dome our little dome cave that we had to crawl in and out of every day uh, I just I think we both come to the conclusion that you know what we've got to an age where we're just too old for that that's for sure so uh, so yeah I uh, I said to her what about if I find a nice tent that we can stand up in and she went I'll have some of that so uh, a uh, quick look on the old tippy tappy a uh, second hand one popped up because I tell you what motorcycle tents bloody hell they're expensive I thought oh we'll get one of those lone rider ones you know that'd be alright that'd be good that will with a little garage on the front of it and uh, till I've seen the price 450 470 quid I was like yep that ain't happening so uh, I actually found quite a nice one it's only weighs 10 kg so it will sit on the pillion seat lovely when I get a pillion seat because obviously it's not going to fit on the monkey and uh, hopefully we get a few camping trips in this year once I actually find myself the adventure bike that I desire and that <laughs> that in itself is a bloody big question what am I going to have do you know what there's a few on my list and I just don't know decisions decisions it really is one of those there's there's just no bad bike in this day and age and do I want to stick with what I know and that is you know I know triumph so I know the things I like and the things I don't like or do I risk my money and uh, buy something that I'm not necessarily owned and you know like I say there's quite a few choices out there but we'll get back to that in another video, won't we, buds? As for today, it's starting to dry up a bit drizzly when we left home. So, yeah, any suggestions what you think I'm going to buy or should buy or would like to buy as an adventure bike or any sort of bike, let me know in the comments below. Ah, I love that one, thank you very much. If it weren't for this slow ass, this slow ass bloody Subaru driver who's all over the road, oh! Unreal they are. Unreal. Because they walk among us. Because they, <laughs> they walk among us, don't they, drive? They walk among us. They're the ones to watch. They're the ones that are going to kill you. So I'm not sure what uh, the itinerary or what we're going to do today. But, uh, Lord Helmet Ed, bless him, he, uh, he put the... Uh, offer of a day out with him doing some videoing so I says yeah if I can convince the wife to lend me her beautiful tiger because she does love her beautiful tiger and reluctantly bless her she let me and it was reluctantly which is also uh, another reason why I know I've got to get myself another bike because I can't be begging and getting down on my knees every time I want to get on the big bike but you know what I don't blame her. I get that it's her baby. It's the bike she loves. I'm not going to hold it against her that she stole my monkey bike. Oh no. Oh, Nationals! Ah, oh, it's nice to be back on a bike with a bit of power. <laughs> oh, look at that open countryside. That's what I like to see with a bit of sunshine and dry roads. Oh. That's always a good thing. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's what I love about this bike. Don't get me wrong, I love the monkey. The monkey is a different kind of fish. That makes me smile, that makes me laugh. That makes me feel 30 years younger. These heated grips are lovely, <laughs> lovely. Your eating hot water bottle, lovely budsy. What do you reckon, kid? I'm telling you. He said, I can see the McDonald's. 
There it is, the golden arches. There's quite a few in here. There you go, bud. Look, your fan club's here, mate. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Oh, what an amazing day. I've got to say, it has been fun. I've learned quite a lot, as I always do, when I spend the day with the Lordship himself, Lord Elmethead lovely guy he does put a lot into his videos and i get what he's saying with a lot of what he does and how he does it so unfortunately <laughs> you're not going to see any of that footage in this video or any video on my channel because do you know what he invited me for the day and uh my decision was do you know what i don't want to dilute his video i want to you know he's invited me out I'll learn a lot and I'll be in his video and for me that's good enough so you can definitely watch that video by going over to the Helmet Head channel go and have a look he's an amazing guy lovely guy if you haven't seen any of his content well you yeah, need to because he'll just make you laugh make you smile make you feel better about yourself he's currently going around the world on an Honda monkey bike which is monkey-tastic and uh He's doing it in stages, so the bike's in Portugal, he's left it in Portugal, flown back. He'll work for a few weeks and then uh, he'll basically go back out, fly back out, do another leg, come back, earn some more money, go and do a bit more, which I think is amazing. It's an amazing way to do it because there's many of us that go, I can't do that, I can't commit two years of my life to going around the world. But you know what? He's going to do it. And uh, like I say, his content is just he inspires me that's what he does he always inspires me to try harder to make you good people feel good about yourselves and enjoy watching the content that we all work so hard to give you for free for free so that's us we're uh, we're heading home now we buddy we're heading home kid oh no he's had a good day he's been good gold he only tried to bite his lordship twice but you know that's pretty good for him that's for sure, that's pretty good for him. Give that bell a ding ding. Hit that like button and uh, show us some love. Give us a sub. Be nice to get to a thousand one day. Oh, most definitely. I'm going to get myself a new big bike, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. And uh, on that note, I would like to say stay safe all, have fun. We'll catch you on the next one.